Good morning, it is a beautiful day outside and I'm about to shoot something that may not be the usual thing I shoot but I have reasons to shoot it anyway and I'll take you with me. Today I'm going to shoot an outdoor action painting session. I've been reorganizing my uh, cupboard and my gear area. Um, still a lot of work, but it's getting there. The reason why I've been doing this is I want to try a different way of packing my gear. What I used to do was that I have like sets of gear in separate bags, but um, it meant that either you took very little and then you're limited or you took way too much. So what I've done now is I've basically spread out my gear orderly or at least kind by kind so I can pick whatever I need for the assignment. Uh, so I'll just grab a bag and put in what I need to use. First things first, my main camera is going to be the X-Pro2 with the 35 1.4. Second thing I'm taking is the 56 millimeter lens gonna use the X100F as my second camera backup camera um, so I can have pretty much all my bases covered and as you can see maybe you can see it there's still a big gap in my camera bag and I'm going to fill that with a camera that may not be perfect for this kind of photography but I want to test out in a reportage settings this is it, the Fujifilm GFX 50S with the 63mm lens. Uh, I've been using it on more like commercial assignments, portrait assignments and now I want to see how it does in more reportage circumstances. It's not that I need this kind of resolution for this kind of work but I often do commercial work in a reportage setting so um, I want to test this out before I put it out on real assignments. I'll talk about this camera in a future video a bit more because I'm still figuring it out. <clears throat> the good thing about being organized is that you see everything but you have to make sure that uh, you have everything with you. So I'm taking a couple of spare batteries for X-Pro2 and X100F and I'm taking a spare GFX battery. Anything else I need? I don't need any lighting equipment for this spare GoPro battery because they go pretty fast. Um, other thing I might take with me is the Instax Share SP2 printer. Um, also what I'm going to take with me is some gaffer tape on a pen. You never know when you use this and a lens cloth. I think that's basically it. Anything else I need? Instax film. There you go, Instax film and I should be good to go. I'm usually not much of a backpack user but I figure I might need to have to walk around quite a bit so in this case a backpack would be handier than a shoulder bag. So I've just arrived at my destination um, and the reason why I'm doing this, why I'm shooting this is that um, I was asked by the person who's organizing this and she is a very dear friend of mine and people who have been following me for a very long time will instantly recognize her as one of my favorite models ever.
that's it. I shot this for about two hours, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I didn't make any award-winning pictures, uh, but these things are important. They may not be important on a world scale, but these things are important for this young woman. This is uh, obviously an important change in her life. She's going to get married, so um, yeah, I, I think it is worth uh, documenting that. Um, and it is not war photography or social documentary or something, but it still is documentary photographer photography. And as photographers, we often take this a bit too lightly because it's so normal that we are able to document these kind of things. But we forget that most people cannot. So um, to me, I take this very seriously, although I always have fun when I take things serious too. But um, yeah, I was very happy and very honored to be asked to do this. So. En langs de verkeerrook naar Halsel tot de E313 in Geelwest. Daar zijn door een ongeval twee rijstroken dicht. Traffic jam. So since I'm stuck in traffic, um, I might as well use my last percents of battery on the GoPro to um, talk a bit about uh, the Fujifilm GFX. Um, I got a full video coming, uh, but I'm still trying to figure this out because um, even though um, I feel pretty much at home with it, um, after all my experience with the X-Series cameras, it is um, still a lot to figure out um, and I'm trying to figure out how it um, is used the best. So. Um, up until now I shot mainly um, portraits and tried it on some commercial shoots too um, and in these static environments uh, it works really well also I think um, that's where medium format is generally used um, so today I tried it a, a bit more in a reportage setting uh, a bit more run and gun um, shot aperture priority um, handheld and um, I have the feeling that it went really fine uh, but we'll have to check when we see the files if they're actually like perfect in focus because one of the things with medium format is that if you're shooting wide open or close to wide open or even halfway stop down the depth of field is pretty limited so um, and the, the resolution of these files is so huge that if you make a little mistake you immediately see it so I'm curious to see uh, how it did coming up soon I have this first impressions video about GFX that I've been doing and um, I'll share it with you very soon I'm driving again so I'm gonna watch the road and um, I'll talk to you later Thank you.